Hey, today we're going to be installing AWX on a single node K3S. I'm doing this on a Alma Linux 9.3. This will work with Scent and Rocky Linux as well. I've got this VM on Proxmox, but you can do it in VMware, Hyper-V, and anything else you can think of. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to SSH into my VM. I'm in as myself. I'm going to sudo i just to bring myself up to root. And first, we're going to do the uh, updates. I'm going to pause it for the updates. You don't really need to see this, and then I'll come back. Okay, the update's completed. Now I'm going to set the host name. It's better to set the host name before you get started, because if you change it afterwards, there could be issues. So I'm going to run the host name setup, and then TUI. There's other ways of doing it as well. This will be temp.awx. But um, before we install, I'm going to temporarily disable SE Linux. You can re-enable it after the installation, but I've run into issues during the install with SE Linux running, so I'm just going to disable it temporarily. Yeah, FC sysconfig, SE Linux. And I'm just going to disable it. OK, let's pull up a little cheat. OK, um, before I go any further, I'm going to reboot it. Just minimize this and this to watch it. And we can go over my temp specs hardware. Um, right now, I've got two sockets and two cores for the proc um, memory. I just have four gigs, and my disk size is 32 gigs. Um, if you're going to be running this for testing or any length of time, you might want to grow your disk. But um, this is just for testing, so this is what I have. Let's see if it's booted back up yet. And it's good to go. So let's bring that back and log in. Okay, and now we're going to temporarily disable us. Uh, we already did that. Going to temporarily disable the firewall. Okay. Now we're going to install Git and curl. This shouldn't take too long. Some of these take longer than others. Okay, now we're going to install K3S. Just make sure I've got everything. Yep. Let's set that back the way it was. Copy that. As you can see, it has it, it's able to deal with SE Linux. So, but during the install, I've had problems, so that's why I just disable it. All 
I'm going to pause this since it's taken a bit. Just going to make sure kubectl is working before I go any further. It's very strange. All right, I'm going to pause this. Okay, so kubectl doesn't seem like it's working, so let's just troubleshoot this. Okay, I'm just going to install something. Um. It would help if I put install. Okay, boom, it is there. I'm just going to link this over. So Okay, there we go. So got that working. So let's keep going. And we're going to install the AWX operator. Okay, now we're going to deploy it. Okay. Now we're going to check the status of it. Let me clear the screen. OK, it's not ready. See, we're looking here. 0 out of 2 are ready, and 0 out of 1 are ready. These should come up pretty quickly. Nothing yet. Clear the screen. Give it a bit longer. Okay, we're getting progress. Two out of two ready and one out of one ready. So we're ready to continue on. So now we're going to set the host name for AWX and also configure the SSL key. So just copy this. All set there. Now we're going to edit the base on uh, AWX YML. And set the host name in there. So oops, if I copy the whole thing. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing with the base customizations. Um, here, you should be changing the password here and the password here. I'm not going to do so because this is just a test system. I'm going to blow it away right after this. 
I already have a working AWX that I'm using. So I'm going to escape out of here. And we're going to create the directories and just set permissions. Now we're ready to deploy. Okay. Now we need to check the status. This is the part that's going to take a while. And I'm going to pause the video after this part. This takes a while. So you can go get a coffee when you're actually doing the install. For us, I'm going to pause it so you don't have to go through this. Okay. It looks like it completed. This is the line you're looking for. And what you're really interested in here is OK85 and nothing failed. So at this point, we're good to go. So I'm going to control C out of here. And I forgot to mention earlier, this is a huge thanks to uh, Kurakobo's AWX uh, GitHub. I, he makes this all possible. So if you go on to GitHub, give him a, a star for that project. So we're just going to check the status of AWX. Let's see if it's running. Okay, two out of two ready, one out of one ready, four out of four ready, three out of three. So it looks like we're good to go. So I'm going to test logging on to this. Okay, so now we're going to log on and hopefully see the site. So if the computer cooperates, here we go. Oh yeah. So the password should be Ansible with a capital A one two three exclamation. Username is admin. Let's try this again. Make sure I didn't fat finger it. So here we go. And boom, we're in. Um, I'll just give a real quick rundown on AWX. I started off with Ansible CLI, so templates are kind of like playbooks. Credentials will be where your uh, credentials are. Projects are where you're going to pull from your Git repository. I've got a local GitLab system. As you can see, this demo project is pulling from Git. Um, inventories, you can do static inventories right on here. Uh, myself, I'm pulling my inventory from Git, but you can also have third-party integrations like Netbox, which is dynamic inventories, and so is my inventory from Git. But it's a single source of truth, which is a lot easier. Then hosts are pulled right out of your inventories. Um, some other things we can look at. Organizations. Um, you can set it up like IT, developers, um, security. Then you can do users and you can break it down even further by teams. Um, some other things. Let's see. Ex execution environments. Um, if you have an internet connection on your system, 
this is real easy because you can use this AWX uh, execution environment. Um, I used to work in a high security environment where a lot of systems were behind several firewalls and it wasn't easy to get internet access. So sometimes you're gonna have to create uh, your own execution environment. Um, we can go into that at a later time, but uh, please let me know what else you'd like to see. And thank you very much. Have a good night. Guys, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how bad I'm doing. Thanks. I appreciate it.